Welcome back. Um, so today we're going to go over uh, shift right, shift left, uh, rotate right, rotate left, um, as per request actually, but it is right along with what we were looking at, which is bitwise. So what are they? What do they do? First thing, um, I'm opening Ollie and I'm just going to any program because I'm just clearing stuff to work with here. So let's open up Notepad. Notepad. Learn to talk now. Okay. So <laughs> say you have a binary value like this. So if we tell it to shift right by four bits, what does that mean? That means to take the least significant bytes from the right actually that's not really what it means what it means is to take all of these all but the last four bits they're not bytes or bits and move them that way and get rid of these ones so it's saying take these four off and give us zeros at the front we've shifted to the right by Four bits. Okay, so if we take this and we say shift right one, then we're going to take this bit, get rid of it, put a zero at the front. Okay, so now if we want to shift left by five, it means to take this and take five bits from this side off and put zeros over here. Okay, simple. But what's actually going on here? Let's look in Ollie. So I wanna put a thousand in here signed, which is three E eight. And I want to shift it right by one. And we're going to see what happens to that thousand. So we know that in binary, we have this for a thousand. <coughs> Excuse me. So what it's going to do is take this bit get rid of it and we're gonna have a zero here awesome so what happens to our value it was cut in half okay well what happens if we shift it by say five we take all these off and we get this number Shift right, X, 5. Now we just have F, which is 15. Hmm. Let's do some quick simple math here really quick. 2. Uh, I need a scientific calculator. 2 raised to the 5th power is 32. And... 500 divided by 32 is 15.65. Well, would you looky there? Okay. So, if you had to do this on a decimal level, which I wouldn't recommend, but if you needed, say you had a program int g equals 1000, and you want to shift that number to the right by let's say, you know, one byte, which is four bits. You go, okay, what is that? What exactly is it doing? It's essentially dividing by two to the power of X bits. So it would be Two raised to the 
fourth power is 16. And if we take our 1,000, oops, and divide it by 16, we get 62.5, which this would get lost. You'd only have 62. So do we get that same value in Ollie if we do it that way? 1,000, and we said by four, which is the same as two to the power of four is 16 in decimal. So now if we get a new origin here, okay, so we're at 1,000, we shift, now we're at 62. So it's just math. It's nothing scary, it's just math. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> excuse me. So what is shift left? Okay, so if I want to shift left by four bits, am I gonna go back up to a thousand? Mm, probably not. It's saying to multiply by 16 in decimal but remember we lost that half because in programmer you don't in int you don't have a decimal so 5 by 16 62 now if we multiply by 16 we get 9992 close but no cigar and we see that here same thing it's dividing by 16 multiplying by 16 but no decimals. The decimal is lost. So if we shift right by one, oops, need to register. What happens to our 1,000? It gets cut in half. We divide it by 2 because 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Now this one we can recover from by shifting left. How many times am I going to do that? And you see we have a thousand again. The reason you can recover from it in shifting is because we can shift up to 3 bits and still recover because you can recover zeros when shifting because zeros are zeros but if we shift four we lose this one and it becomes a zero when you shift back to see that we'll put in some numbers like this now if we shift by four we're going to see this eight drop off and now if we shift back the eight is not there we have zero but if we put an 8 here, and let's look at this in binary. So yeah, the same thing here. We can shift up to 3 bits and still be able to recover. So if I shift right by 1, it looks a little funky, but all our bits are still there. They're just in different order. So if I shift left again, or shift left back 1 bit, we recover because we lost a zero and we got a zero back. So if we come back up here, new origin here, um, something else that happens is the last bit that is shifted off goes into C. So we know that our last bit shifted here is a four, is a one, since it's one, two, three, fourth bit we should see that one go to C, and we do. And when we shift left, so now we have this number. We're gonna start from this side. If we shift left by four, it's gonna be a zero. And so we're gonna go back to zero. Now, if I put this eight here, and we shift right by one, it's zero. We shift left by one, it's zero. It's not gonna change. See, it doesn't change. We notice that P changed. So let's read 
Ollie's rendition. So shift logical write. Shifts the contents of 32-bit register EAX one times to the right. For each shift count, the least significant bit is shifted into the flag C, and the most significant bit is cleared. That's exactly what I said, kinda. <laughs> Okay, and it's the same for shift left, but the other way. So let's rotate right. Rotate right, EAX by one. Rotate left, EAX by one. But before we actually execute those, let's pull up Notepad. So you have 100, or there we go. Got some random binary value. And I want to rotate by two bits. So that means to take these two bits and put them, rotate them to the front. All right? So it's like shift, but it saves the information. So if I say rotate by four, saying one, two, three, four, Take these four bits, put them to the front, rotates them. Let's see that happen. And that's going to look funky because we're doing one bit. And if we roll or rotate back, it's back. But if we rotate EAX by four and rotate left EAX by four, we're going to see this 8 go over here and everything else go down, just like that. And now when we rotate left, that 8 is going to go back. Very easy. But how is this useful? Let's look at something like this. If we need to know what the value of something's going to be hmm, can't think of a good example that's like layman's terms yeah you guys work on that <laughs> there's mathematical applications here <laughs> good job so anyways let's uh, foot and mouth let's uh do a rotation here and see what the math does. So 1,000. So let's come up here, in order here. So we rotate by one bit. We see now we've added 1,048. And if we go back, we have our. Oh um, no! Here we go. I thought that looked wrong. There we go, new origin here. Okay, so we have a thousand. Now we have five hundred. Okay, cut it in half. Okay. Cool. Now what what about four? Eh, not so much. But AX holds that same that's what I was trying to think of earlier. That same mathematical change as our shifted, but we can recover from it. So, say you're doing four byte calculations, and you want to know, you know, 1,000, you know, up to, let's see here, you go up to right there. Is No, I think you can go Should be able to here, and we'll see. We're gonna see what happens here. Okay, so we have six five five three five and unsigned. Here we go. In AX six five five three five. So if we do a rotate to the right, we see that division by two in AX. 
So if you're using smaller numbers, but you want to be able to recover, you can do this rotate and get that same math. Now by four. Yeah. And come back. Whereas with the shift, you see we get this math, oops, but we don't come back. Okay, so try and wrap your heads around that. Watch this video 8, 10, 12 times until you finally get it. And if you still don't get it, uh, let me know because we might have to come back to it. But other than that, um, the next video, uh, we're going to open up a crack me, take a break from this uh, stuff. We're going to read a crack me line by line. It's a really easy one. A user actually sent it to me. Um, it does have a little trick that makes it hard, but uh, it's not hard. So thanks for watching, and as always, uh, rate, comment, subscribe.